Good morning, beautiful people. Good morning, good morning. How is everyone this morning? This Thursday morning. Well, me, I'm grateful. I'm above the dirt every morning that God allows me to wake. I'm grateful because I'm above the dirt, Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, I'm going to show you. I finally find the pictures in my own um, photos and in my gallery from two years ago. I finally found the pictures that I want to put up and post. And I'm going to be um, putting them here. So you guys can see what my hair looked like to give you the proof of the spotted baldness that I was telling you guys about. So here they are right here for you guys to see the before and after pictures. And you tell me what you guys think. Because I told you I'm always here to give you guys great content, great authentic content and the truth and what my hair looks like now. That it's not balding, it's not balding in the back like that again. And that is actually grown back. So it's still recovering though around the edge of some too, but it is it is coming back. And the things that I told you guys that I was using. To um, grow it back. And I'm still on the healing journey. Don't think for a second that it's over. Because it's not. That is why I'm here posting content constantly. To, um, to show you guys. This is still a healing journey. that's continuing you know it's because my hair is still not healthy at all it's not all that healthy the hair follicles are still recovering and i'm constantly still trying to get get it stronger get my hair stronger they're on follicles to get a full head of hair back that's healthy and strong. And sometimes, you know, as we get older too, and different hormones and different things, some of us, it just takes a little longer to get to the destination. You know, my hair used to be like Malachi's. Once you cut it, whatever, it just bounced right back. But after all the damage, and like I said, I'm still having some anemia because my numbers are always fluctuating. My hemoglobin is always fluctuating. I'm never, it's never steady where my hemoglobin is normal at the normal levels of 12, where it'll stay consistent at 12 because the cycles will take it and make it drop back down to a nine sometimes an eight but since i had the surgery i can honestly say that it haven't that it haven't dropped really below a nine now and then you know to give y'all a revise a revision remember i told you guys that i was also um, implementing the geritol because many people were saying geritol 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 has helped them with hair growth. So I'm doing a multitude of things along with the actual hair mask and the ingredients that I'm showing you guys in the um, hair mask and different things to get the hair to grow back and to see how long it's going to take it to um, 
actually grow that. That is another key thing, you know. I'm just curious, not that it's such a big rush, but you know, sooner than later is better. But that my concern basically is, like I said yesterday, as long as it's not falling, that it's still not breaking, that it's trying to recover. That is the most important thing of it recovering and getting back to a healthy state. I'm not going to sit here and rush and say, oh, that my expectation is for it to come right back. My hair needs to be this long by this time. No, I'm having realistic expectations, guys. Like as like I said, it's just as long as it's not falling and breaking, I'm good. I'm good with that. And that it is thriving, even though it's slow, the process is slow, but it is thriving, so that is my biggest concern and my realistic expectation for myself and for my hair on this journey with alopecia areata that they diagnosed me with from the um, vitamin C deficiency and the anemia deficiency. So that was pretty much um, what I wanted to come here, guys, to say to you about that as far as hair care, as far as hair care. And I woke up like this. Yes, because you see me keep it tied down. You could tell when your hair is growing. Like I said, it was all of this was broken. This was broken. You could, It was broken, but it's growing back. And when you see the hair actually stand in with the rest of the hair, you know, you you know when your hair is growing back out. Everybody knows and can see when their hair is growing and thriving and doing what it's supposed to do. But um, let me, quick reminder, and let me mention to you guys right now, I'm about to start doing the setup, guys. I'm done with the hair care now. I'm talking about the health of the hair care. Now, guys, I want to tell you about the celebration tomorrow for 10K subscribers and YouTube. Thanking YouTube um, partner program. I want to thank YouTube for the YouTube partner program, baby. So, that and the subscribers. And, like I said, for some of you guys, if y'all on the fence, don't know if you want to hit the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel, baby. Go through a lot of our videos and see if if it's something that make you want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and come on board with us. Because like I told you guys, I'm not just constantly saying it. It's in the making. I'm going to start setting up some things now for the celebration tomorrow. But I'm talking travel, new content, new content. You guys just stay the ones y'all already subscribed to us, y'all just hang tight and hang with us. It's not going to always be content of hair tutorials, content of health, even though those are some very important topics and they are very key to our lives of Malachi, myself, and my autistic son, as well as my daughter. But we are, I'm about to to travel and I told you guys I definitely I am very anxious to take you guys along with me I did not do any recording when I came from Africa in May I just came from Africa in May so that's what June July August September June July August September October November six months ago I just started this YouTube channel I finally it was my autistic son mom mom he had started the channel for me like in 2018 and I was working, like I said, I'm a licensed nurse. I was working, 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 working. I'm like, I don't have time. We going through COVID. I don't have time to be even thinking about no YouTube channel, such and such. Baby, I'm happy that I finally listened to him. So I just started, I'm saying this 
to say that I just started this channel. I started posting on it in April. I was in Africa. That was my first post in Africa with my husband. So guys, like I just said to you guys, <laughs> I am so happy that I started, finally started after he kept asking me, kept asking me, kept asking me. I started in Africa, but I didn't, I didn't record many videos. And that is what I'm wishing I would have done back in April and May before I left there. But it's okay because we got new traveling content coming, baby. Give me a few more months and you guys, I'm going to take y'all on every little journey, every single outing that we possibly almost would do on the traveling and stuff i'm gonna take you guys with me so like i said be looking forward to it guys all right guys until the next one let me go ahead and get this celebration stuff set up and i will be coming on tomorrow like i told you guys live don't forget live at nine o'clock in the morning and I will try to run it as long as I can, but I want to start at 9 in the morning because I have subscribers from different countries, not just in the U.S. And you guys know that we are definitely on different time zones. So, all right, guys, let me go so I can go ahead and start my day and try to get some things settled. All right, to the next one.